Hi, this is Marvin and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to animate foot movements. The segment that you're going to watch in a while is a part uh, of my Skillshare class, how to animate uh, walk cycles. So the context of that is, I mean, it's foot movements in a walk cycle, but I believe the concept behind it can be applied to, to anything. Um, you can, I think, better post your characters uh, once you know how a foot moves. So when we create the foot, think of it like there are two triangles. There's a bigger triangle and then there's a smaller triangle. For the bigger triangle, let's put the tip favored to the left so that it seems like it's facing to the right. Then let's have the edges a bit rounded. Let's think of it like there is a circle on these edges. And depending on the design, we can have each of this circle, either uh, ch we could change its size, we could go bigger, or we could go smaller. Now let's go into the smaller triangle. The same with the bigger triangle, let's put the tip of this favored on either side. In this case, let's just favor this to the left so that it seems like the foot is facing to the right. And let's make this line right here a bit rounded. So let's just think of a circle sitting right exactly at this point. So it's not anymore exactly a triangle and I don't know what exactly this shape is called but for simplicity, let's just consider uh, this one as the bigger triangle and this one the small triangle. And let's join them together and then we have a foot. So now let's look into how the foot moves. So this one at the front, you can consider this as your toes. The circle right here is the ball of the foot. This one at the back is your heel. And this one on top is your ankle. And as I have said a moment ago that we could change the size of the circle. So let's change the size of this circle at the top a bit bigger for the ankle. And so if we are going to move the toes part, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to move or rotate the small triangle. And the pivot of that would be at the ball of the foot right here. So this one would rotate, its movement is, it would rotate around its axis. Now, if we want to raise the heel, you're going to move the big triangle and the pivot is still at the ball of the foot. It would rotate around its axis. Now, if we want to move the whole foot, the pivot would be at the ankle part and the whole foot would, re would rotate around its axis. Now, what if the foot is planted on the ground, right? You can't really have the pivot on the the ankle because the foot can't pass through the ground, right? What you can do is, or the other movement that uh, we can make with our foot is have the pivot on the heel part and have the whole foot rotate around its axis. Now we are going to discuss the foot movements when now it's attached to the legs. So now here I have two drawings. There's a big drawing or model of the foot and this one has the whole figure, a smaller one, so that we could see how the legs would react depending on what foot movements uh, we would draw. So if we are going to move the toes, it's going to move like this. So now what if we are going to move the heel, if we want to raise our heel upwards? So we would rotate the big triangle. And notice here that when we raise our heel, the, the legs would also move. Because this is another thing that we have to consider is that the major source of movement in the foot is the legs. And it's connected to the ankle. So the ankle is the source of the movement. Think of it that if we are going to, to walk, it's not the foot that moves upwards, but it's the leg 
that drags the foot forward. We have to think about how the foot would react to that movement. Because here, if we're just going to uh, raise the heel and keep the position of the legs as is, then it would seem like the length of the legs has shrunk. And that's also one thing that we have to consider when we animate a walk cycle or any animation is we have to keep the length of our limbs consistent from start to finish. So now we are going to look into uh, the foot poses in a walk cycle. So same with the previous example, we have here a bigger model of the foot and we have here just the body and the legs and the foot. So this is the contact pose. So we, were go we are going to focus on just one foot or one leg and we are going to focus on the right leg. So this is the front foot of a contact pose. So we have the heel planted, planted on the ground and the feet pointing upwards. So now if we go into the down pose, the pivot would be at the heel. So it, 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 do, it will not move forward and backward. It would just be the heel would be static and the foot would rotate within its axis. And now this is the passing pose. So uh, the foot that is planted on the ground uh, will have no movement. And now we are going into the up pose. And with the up pose, we have the small triangle right here, static. It's planted on the ground. And we are going to move the big triangle. We're going to rotate the big triangle because we are going to raise the heel. So if we also do that, we also have to consider the length of the leg and make sure that it's consistent. And now this is the contact pose on the other side. So now we are looking into the, the, the foot, the back foot in a contact pose. So this is what it looks like on the back. So it's the heel is now a bit higher and in order to make the heel a bit higher, so we rotate the bigger triangle a bit more. And then this is the, the down pose on the other side. And notice how the leg moved. Now it's raised a bit. The leg is now raised a little bit. And now the pivot seems like it's on the toes. And then we have the passing pose, which we would lift the, the foot. And then we're going to now place it on the front. And now it's a complete loop. Now we're back to the contact pose. So I hope you learned something from that video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to learn more, I have a Skillshare class on how to animate walk cycles. I mean, the link is in the description below. There's also a book that I would like to recommend if you want to learn more about animation, the Animator's Survival Kit, which I would also include in the description below. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. And I think that's it. Keep learning and see you around.